Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today is Monday the 25th of April. It is about 4.10 here where I am. And since it's Monday, I'm going to be telling you what I did over the weekend. Now, I didn't really do much. I didn't have any friends over, but I did do two tag videos. So yay, I did that. Accomplishing. But so today was um, the beginning of another block scheduling week, which it's kind of annoying, but it's kind of not, I guess. I kind of like it. It's something different. Um, kind of like what I'm trying to do with my hair. I'm trying to make it do something different, but it doesn't look right at all. Rip me. I didn't eat any lunch today or anything at all because these granola bars that my grandma got me are gross. No offense if you like these things, but I don't. They're really gross. Oh. So I brought one today, but I gave it to my friend instead, and I didn't eat anything, which is fine. I ate a pickle like 10 minutes ago, and I'll probably eat ice cream again later. It's really all I've been eating lately is ice cream. <laughs> but, you know, I do me. Do do do. No one else wants to bring me food, so I'll just eat ice cream. Um, nothing too spectacular happened today. I don't have any homework, so that's amazing. That hasn't happened in ages. Uh, I just finished this drawing I was working on, um, a couple days ago. I call it, um, It's Okay to Not Understand. Half of her is a happy version of her, and the other half is a sad version of her. So it's like, okay. <laughs> It's hard to do. I'm not gonna do that. Just pretend. Cover up half the screen. Hope for the best. So that's something I just completed. Hold on, I'm gonna clean up my space. I'm being professional. I promise. I had to open up a new bottle of ibuprofen the other day because I was getting a headache and it was terrifying and I didn't like it. So I just popped a pill and got over it. Really? Uh, anyway, so today what I'm wearing is I'm wearing my Bayani Wild and Free shirt, some black shorts, black tights, and these new red shoes that I got. I redid my nails. I think I said that already actually in the last video. In what video? Yeah, in the TMI tag I showed you my nails. They're already running, they're already coming off and that's so annoying. I put so much clear coat on these things. What's even the point? I got these new headphones. Um, my grandma got them on sale. I don't know how well they are. They're kind of cute so I like them. Ow. Pulled my hair. I could be my friend John. He always wears headphones like this throughout school. Can you not? I'm busy. My phone buzzed. Um, I accepted them because whenever I play games like Amnesia or something, I want them. I want the sounds to really immerse me. Except for earlier. I was playing earlier, but <laughs> I had a stream on in the background because I was really scared. And then I stopped playing because I was really scared. Because it told me, uh, um, whenever you play Amnesia, it tells you up in the top hints about how to like do the controls. And it said, um, when an enemy is nearby, turn off your light and hide. And I was like, I'm sorry, what? When there's a what, I'm leaving. So I walked around for a little bit, and then I got too scared and I stopped playing. But, so I'll probably get joined into that later. I got stuck in this one part that made me so mad. Hi, kitty. Uh, <laughs> I thought that uh, I had to climb out of the hole in the roof of the room because the door was blocked, when in reality all I had to do was move the stuff out of the way of the door. And I was like, are you serious? Really? I wasted all of the oil on my lamp for that. It's so silly. Um, what else did I do this weekend? Saturday I didn't do much at all. Um, oh, I got a new friend on Steam, so that was cool. <sighs> but I don't even know who he is. Um... So nothing really happened Saturday, and then yesterday I went to Walmart with my mom and I got some new clothes, which I'll show you in a second, which I was planning on wearing today, but for some reason I thought it was going to get cold, even though it didn't. So first I got this tank top, I'm going to probably wear this outfit tomorrow. Uh, I got this tank top, it's blue, it has a little bit of a purple hue to it, but in my eyes it's blue. And it has this cute um, skull on it. So that was cute. It actually took me forever to find one of these that was cute that I could wear to school. Because most of them had like uh, cut cutouts in the back or lace in the back or something. And it's an extra large. No, it's just a large. So that it can fit me nice. And uh, I thought that because it kind of looks a little see-through, I'd have to wear an undershirt. But whenever I had it on, it looked fine. 
So there's that. And then to go, this was only like $7, which was awesome. And then um, to go with it, and also just because I really wanted a light cardigan, I got a light cardigan. It was on this rack that said $10, and I was like, all right, cool, whatever, fine, $10, no biggie. Um, this is what it looks like. It's just like um, a lace kind of thing, just like a light one, and it's really long. I think it's an extra large. No, it's only a medium. Why do I think everything I get is an extra large? Okay. <laughs> and then at the very bottom, it's these um, like floral lacy things. I don't know what to call them. <laughs> Ew, it still has like that shoulder thing. Hold on. Gotta cut this off before I forget. Bye! And so the rack's at $10. I was like, alright, cool. $10. No problem. This is so cute. I'm so happy. Ooh, it smells kind of weird. I should wash these before I wear them, shouldn't I? Anyway, the rack's at $10, but whenever I went up there and rung it up, oh, they cost $3. Which is pretty cool. So, I mean spent a lot less money than I thought it was going to, so that was awesome. Only spent about $10 in total, so that was cool. Uh, super excited about that outfit, actually. I was, like I said, I was going to wear it today, and then I was kind of sad that I didn't whenever I went outside today, and it was freaking hot. <laughs> so luckily, I think tomorrow's supposed to be pretty, pretty on the warm side as well. So that'll be cool. What did you guys think about those tag videos um, yesterday and Saturday? Hmm? Did you like them? I know they're not as, oh god, I know that they're, <sighs> something weird just happened on stream that I'm watching, I can't, go away. Um, I know that they're not as fun as challenges, but, I mean, you get to know a little more about me, and that's basically what a tag is for. I know a lot of different tags I can do, um, and I want to do a video on my internet friends. I have some, I'm not all that well, I'm not all that good with talking to people let alone internet people. So, hey, happen to be one of my internet friends watching this? I'm sorry I don't talk to you often. You know, even if you're in my normal friends, I'm sorry I don't talk to you often. You know what's funny? Oh my god. Okay, so, because it was, um, block scheduling, we had mixed up lunches and things, and so Zach is in my lunch, and I knew that, because he was in it before, in my other block scheduling a couple weeks ago. So I was like, you know what, fine, whatever. We cool, I don't care. We good, we good, leave me alone. And, um... So, you know, normal time, I went into the freaking cafeteria, sat down where my friends were going to be, and just watched the meat, basically, because I didn't eat. And then, like I always do, at the, towards the end of lunch, I go and I stand next to the big doors so I can leave and not have to be suffocated by the herd of people. Like I always do. <laughs> and uh, I happened to see Zach in uh, like the little room that he was in eating. I don't know why he was in a room. Why were you in a room? That's weird. But anyway, I just happened to see him there while I was standing with my other friends waiting to leave. And then, whenever we left, I guess he went up a different staircase because he came into the hallway a different way. And our both of our fourth hours, which is where we came from and which way we had to go to, was in the same hallway. Coincidentally, across from each other. And not my fault. And Genesis mentioned his name or something. And he said something. I don't even know what he said. I wasn't really paying attention. I wasn't even paying attention to Genesis all that much. And, um, he texted me a little bit in the fourth hour, stop stalking me. And I'm like, girl, don't flatter yourself. I was not stalking you. Trust me. I do stalk him sometimes, but I stalk a lot of my friends sometimes. I mean, he's not my friend anymore, but he used to be. But I just do it, one, to collect data so that I know more about people. And two, because I'm over-observant. And three, because I'm bored. That's basically the main reason because I'm bored. But I was not stalking you at this point in time. Don't flatter yourself. I don't stalk just because, like, because you're there. I stalk because I'm bored. I'm not going to sit here and actually pay attention and take notes about how you walk to your class or when you walk to your class. Like, girl, I didn't even look at you. So why are you looking at me? I didn't freaking stalk you. Okay, leave me alone. But, um, I thought that was kind of... Wow, somebody's taking a shower now. That's phone. Have, be clean, be clean. You do you, you become clean. Who is that anyway? Hopefully it's my stepbrother Michael because girl's feet stink. He has one pair of socks. Gross. Oh my god. <laughs> there was something else I was going to say. That was going to... Oh yeah, so Zach's math teacher, um, at least... I don't know if it gets, yeah, it has to be. Um, 
his math teacher that he has right now is the one that I had last semester. So if I didn't get my schedule changed last semester, and I didn't have to go to my new math teacher, we could have possibly been in the same class, which would make two classes that we were in together, which would make him even more angrier at me. But you know, just the more you know, I guess. I don't think April's in that hour, but, he, but she might be. I kind of miss April, my friend. Uh, I guess she's more of an acquaintance now. But we used to sit together in lunch last uh, year, and we had math class together. It was so fun. She's really nice. Maybe someday she'll talk to me again. Probably not. But, um, that's it for today, guys, I guess. I don't have anything else to talk about. Um, I guess I'll just return to watching this. And maybe playing Gary's Mod later. Probably not. But maybe. I haven't played Minecraft in ages. Yeah. But, uh, super excited for my IF. What's wrong with me? No, you know what? I want to say one more thing before I leave. So, I spent like 20 minutes yesterday figuring out who amongst some of my friends resemble what YouTubers. And now I know that these YouTubers, they're popular, but like they're not like PewDiePie popular. So I don't know if you guys will know them or not, but if you do, cool. So my friend John resembles the YouTuber Grazer10 because they're both always there. <laughs> like they're always there somehow. They both make extremely weird noises randomly, and they're both very passionate about that. Pe Julia, please. They're both very passionate about what they do. My friend, calm down over there, phone. My friend, um, Chris is a lot like King Tong because they're both super tall. They both make uh, inappropriate innuendos, and they're both extremely funny all the time without having to try. My friend Brandon is a lot like Strawberry Jam because they're uh, very open, they're very funny, and they always end up somehow insulting somebody. <laughs> then Zach is a lot like Creeper Farts because he's hardly ever there, people hardly ever talk to him, he's new, and um, he betrayed people. <laughs> if you don't know, in the cube, um, Creeper Farts betrayed north side for south side and that's kind of what I refer, refer to whenever I say that Zach um, and Creeper Farts uh, betrayed and then my acquaintance Andrew is a lot like Parker Games because he's hardly ever there but when he is there he's funny and then my other acquaintance Dylan is a lot like Tibsy because again he's hardly ever there but he's extremely funny as well and even though he's not always there he ties in really well to the rest of the group and I find myself, I'm either like D-Field or I'm like H-Bomb. Both are always there, kind of. They're, but they both make everybody really happy. Um, the only difference is that D-Field um, is like um, always making people really happy and gets along with everybody. And then H-Bomb is like, he gets annoyed with certain people and he gets um, upset with certain people. So I'm kind of both of them. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. I don't know what that little rant at the end was, but who cares? So, um, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below anything you freaking want to. You know what? Comment. Comment potato monkeys. Because that was the first thing that came to my mind. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Please subscribe to become a bunny today. I would really appreciate it. Peace out. Bye-bye, freaking bunny. We'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!